Good day, people. God bless. This is an episode of God Loves You. I'm Minister Marcus Jackson. Thank Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ for another blessed day. Be born again and repent from your sin. Start fresh and stop sinning. Sin is disobeying Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and their rules. Sin ends in death. Love makes you evolve. Faith says your fate. B.C. and A.D. were on God's time. Love Jehovah God and Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Today's topic is the war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. There are many wars and battle between good and evil. Every day in life when someone does right, he or she is battling doing wrong. He or she is battling evil by doing right. When someone does wrong, he or she is battling doing right. But when somebody does right, they are battling doing wrong. There are many wars on earth when people are trying to do good or try to teach each other not to do good. There are many wars on earth where people are trying to do wrong and to do wrong. Many people are unaware that they are soldiers for right or wrong or they are in God's army, or they're in the devil's army, and doing wrong. It is written in Revelation 12, 7 through 9, a war broke out in heaven, and Michael and his angels, who believed and belonged to Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, Michael and his angels fought the devil, and the devil was cast to earth with his angels, the bad guys. And God and Jesus and their angels live in heaven and control earth. They are the good guys. God and the devil are fighting to control earth the same way God and the devil fought to control heaven. God and the devil tell people what's good or bad in a person's thoughts and from other people who God and the devil have already told. So God tells you to do right in your thoughts, in your mind. You might say, I want to do right. I want to do right. That thought pops in your head. I want to do right. But then the devil puts thoughts in your head. All you ought to do wrong because, you know, this reason and that reason you ought to do wrong. See, and there's a battle of good and evil. God is trying to tell you to do right. The devil is trying to tell you to do wrong. All in your mind. The battle of good and evil. The war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. When a person admits lies and do wrong, Therefore, the devil, when a person admits truth and does right, they're for God. Now, you can admit the truth, steal, and but do wrong. You're also for the devil. So somebody might say, well, that gun over there, that gun is shiny and or that man over there made me mad. I want to shoot and murder that person. You admitted truth. Yes, which was good, but you did wrong with the truth. But God wants you to admit truth and do right with the truth. So you might say, well, my, my son needs to eat today. He's starving. You could either do wrong with that and say, forget him. He doesn't need to eat. Or you can do right and say, I'm going to buy him food so he can eat. 
See, admit the truth and do right. Don't admit the truth and do wrong. With lies and doing wrong, a person loses. With truth and righteousness, a person wins. Lies or telling the truth to do wrong hurts people. Truth and righteousness helps people and gives them life. The war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. Now, some people might say, I don't believe in the devil, but you're doing the devil deeds. You're lying, you're cheating, you're stealing, you're murdering, you're committing adultery, you're competing against your brother, you're, you're hating against your brother and hating good. See, so even though you don't worship the devil as a creature, you're doing what he tells you to do. You're doing what he does. See, so believe in God and do what God does. The devil is telling people to sin and do wrong. God is telling people to be truthful and righteous and do right and obey God's rules. Obeying God's rules is doing right. Oh, disobeying God's rules is doing wrong. The devil is telling people to sin and murder and steal, lie and cheat and commit adultery, believe in false gods, believe that you are God, using God's name in vain, hate people, hate of good, compete against goodness and be jealous of people. But God is telling people to do the opposite of that, to do right and don't sin and be good people. In this war of good and evil, God is winning. There are more living people on earth doing good than bad. More life on earth than death. Now there is death and there are a lot of people doing wrong, but there are more people doing right and more people living because they are doing right. The war between good and evil, God is winning. The devil wanted to control heaven and earth. God wants to control heaven and earth. God is winning. Every time you choose to do right, the devil tries to come to you in your thoughts and in by certain people in the world to do wrong or to regret doing right. But choose right and win. And when you win, you live again. God and the devil are constantly telling people to either do right or do wrong. So when you hear thoughts or people come to you and they want to do wrong, they are fighting for the devil, even though they don't know it, but they are. But when you see people coming to you to do right and trying to tell you to do right and obey God's rules, they are fighting for God. People who obey God and Jesus tell the world to do right. And the ones who believe in the devil tell the world to do wrong and disobey God and Jesus. What side are you on? The ones who believe in God and Jesus and their rules will live. Look around you. People that don't murder, steal, lie, and cheat, or commit adultery or hate or be jealous. And I'm not saying everybody's perfect. Not one person is perfect. We are all born in sin. But people that try their best not to sin, they do right. And when they do right, they live. But people that do wrong and sin, they don't live. They go to jail. They, they, they are drug addicts. They have a hard time living. They're dying. Now, everybody will die on earth. But it's about when you die. And the people that do right live long. The people that don't do right don't live long. There are some wars between good and evil in the Bible. 
By choosing God's side, Abraham and Sarah had faith that they would have a son in their old age and had Isaac. Having faith was being on God's side. Doubting was being on the devil's side. Abraham and Sarah chose to be on God's side and won. Believing the devil would have had them no child, but believing God and being on God's side made them have a child. They won in the battle of good and evil. By choosing God's side, Noah and his family were saved by the flood. They chose God's side and not doubted. Doubted is choosing the devil's side. They chose God's side and won and were saved when the flood went away and were saved when the flood came. Belief in the devil's lie that, oh, God won't help you or God is not real or I can't do it or it won't happen. The devil lies would have Noah and his family dead, but they chose God and God's truth and righteousness, not just the truth, but truth and righteousness. They, they believed in the truth and they did right and they were saved and given life. Jesus, almighty Jesus Christ, chose God's side and believed that when he died, he will be resurrected from the dead. He didn't doubt God and choose the devil's side. And Jesus won and was raised from the dead and is called the conquering lion of the tribe of Judea, Judah, who conquered death because he chose God's side. He won in the battle of good and evil. Belief in the devil's lie or not doing right because the devil will tell you it's true, it's true. Look at that woman over there. She's sexy, isn't she? Now go commit adultery. Or look at that money over there. You need that money, don't you? Now go steal it. See, the devil admits truth too sometimes, but he's not righteous. So you need to admit the truth and do right. Don't admit the truth and do wrong. The devil comes and lies and half truths. So he'll tell a lie or and say something like this. You won't get caught or you won't go to jail. But we know that's a lie. But then he'll say something like this. The money is appealing, ain't it? Go rob and steal it. And the truth is the money is appealing. But going lying and going stealing it is doing wrong. So the devil told you a lie. You won't go to jail. Then he told you the truth. The money is appealing and good looking, ain't it? You need it. But then he told you to do wrong. Go steal it. See, so the devil comes in lies, truth, and doing wrong. While God comes in truth and doing right. It is written in Ephesians 6.12. For do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the authorities, the cosmic powers, who are the darkness, the spiritual forces of evil. Hate Satan, or you will be forsaken. Hate Satan, or you will be forsaken. No need to pound your fists. God always fits. No need to pound your fists. God always fits. It is written in James 1, 13 through 15. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God never tempts with evil and himself tempts no one. Each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire when it's created gives birth to sin. So people have a desire to eat. And by their personal desires, the devil tells them, okay, you're hungry, go steal. The devil tells them truth that you're hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. Go steal, which is doing wrong. God says, admit the truth that you're hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, but go do right and ask somebody for food or go work for it or go buy it. 
And somebody might say, well, I can steal it and I can get it quicker and I can save money. I won't have to spend no money. You might not have to spend no money, but you will have to spend time in jail. You might have to not spend no money and steal, but now you got to spend time worrying about the wrong you did. Watching your back that nobody hurts you for what you did. It is written in Ephesians 6, 11, put on your whole arm of God that you might be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. And the devil works in your mind and your thoughts. He doesn't necessarily talk to you with words and voices. No, it'll be your thoughts. You'll look at something and, you, and a thought will come in your head and a thought will be an evil thought. Or you'll look at something and God will say something in your mind and it'll be a good thought. The war between the good and evil. God and the devil are battling to control your mind. Even if you slip and slide, get on God's side. Even if you slip and slide, get on God's side. God will forgive you and give you a second chance to do right. The war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. It is written in Psalms 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For almighty, almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ is with me. His rod and staff comfort me. God will make it happen when others haven't. God will make it happen when others haven't. It is written in Ephesians. Be strong in the Lord God, Jehovah, who is your strength and your might. Put on the whole armor of almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ so that you might able be, be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. See, the devil works in two ways. He talks to you in your mind with your thoughts, not in a voice, but your thoughts, and through other people. So other people will tempt you to do wrong, and your thoughts will tell you to do wrong. But it's not your own thoughts. It's either the thoughts of God telling you to do right, or the thoughts of the devil telling you to do wrong. And the devil comes in lies, truth, and wrongness. God comes in truth and righteousness. That's how you know which one is which. And when you are tempted to do wrong in your mind, just obey God's rules. So if somebody say, man, he ought to be murdered, just obey God's rules and say, that should not murder. And then you will find peace and happiness. If somebody say, man, we ought to steal that. Or in your mind, you say to yourself, I need to steal that. Just obey God's rules and say, I'm going to obey God's rules. That should not steal. And you will find peace and happiness and safety. It is written in 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 5. For the weapons of our war are not of flesh, but they have divine power to topple strongholds. We diminish arguments and opinions raised against the knowledge of almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, and take every thought to obey almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ. See, so we diminish arguments and opinions and evil thoughts by taking almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, his knowledge. And that's how we live again. And his knowledge is rules, his rules. Jehovah is the jack of all trades. Get God on your train. Jehovah is the jack of all trades. Get God on your train. It is written in James 4, 7. Submit yourselves therefore to almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and resist the devil. So the way to resist the devil is to submit yourself to Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and their rules. 
not just Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, the two spirits, but their rules and the devil will flee from you. Live and don't be evil. Spell evil backwards and it says live. So live and don't be evil. The war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. The wages of sin is death. The wages of admitting the truth and doing the right thing is life. It is written in 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober-minded, watchful. The enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking to devour all he can. God will get you out of the rain. Jesus will stop the devil's rage. God will get you out of the rain. Jesus will stop the devil's rage. It is written in Revelation 3.21. The one who does right by almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, and conquers will be granted to sit with God and Jesus on the throne. As Jesus conquered and sat down with God on the throne, you so will too. If you do right by mighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ. The war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. And like I said, we're all going to die because somebody might say, well, you're going to die anyway. You're going to die anyway, but... I'm not going to die now. In fact, I still got 50 years left. While those who do the devil's deeds, they die fast, real fast. It is written in Ephesians 6, 16 through 18. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can distinguish all the flaming darts of the devil. So when you have problems, do what Jesus did. Jesus was in battle in the war between good and evil. When he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, the devil said, you know, you can do this or you can do that. You can do this. And every time Jesus admitted God's scripture, his word, and that's how Jesus conquered and lived another day. So admit, admit God's rules and words and you will conquer and live another day. Jehovah God, who is the Holy Spirit, the devil, who is the evil spirit, they are all spirits. Jesus is a spirit. God is a spirit. The devil is a spirit. The demons are spirit. The angels are spirit. Everybody in heaven were our spirits. But God, Jehovah God, is the Holy Spirit, the one and only spirit that's pure and righteous and true. So believe in God, Jehovah God, who is the Holy Spirit. His name tells it all. Jehovah. The whole stands for holy. He's a holy God. God is first class. Give God and Jesus your clap. God is first class. Give God and Jesus your claps. The benefit of choosing God's side is life. The consequences of choosing the devil's side is death. Don't you want to live? Well, if you want to live, choose almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, in this war between good and evil. And the war between good and evil is not fought with hands and guns and bombs. You can fight a fight and you can say I'm doing right, but you're really still doing wrong. You're murdering people. See, the true fight of good and evil is doing the right thing and conquering evil. And evil is shooting people and murdering people and bombing people. So somebody might say, well, I'm fighting a fight of good because I murdered and, and bombed somebody. 
but really you're fighting the fight of evil and badness because murder and bombing and shooting people is badness. Look around you. The people that's shooting up people's schools, people that's shooting people on the street corners, people that's shooting up churches, isn't that bad? Isn't that bad? So shooting people, murdering people is badness. I don't care if you say it's good or, or you say it's great. It's badness. Because badness causes death. The war between good and evil. The war between God and the devil. Choose God and live. Choose the devil and die. Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, thank you for another blessed day. Thank you for everything you give us. And we are on your side, just like you are on our side, to live another blessed day. This concludes an episode of God Loves You. I'm Minister Marcus Jackson. Thank Almighty Jehovah God Jesus Christ for another blessed day. Be born again and repent from your sins. Start fresh and stop sinning. Sin is disobeying Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and their rule. Sin ends in death. Love makes you evolve. Faith seals your fate. B.C. and A.D. were on God's time. Love Jehovah God and Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Conquer. Conquer like Jesus Christ conquered. And be on the side of God. Don't be on the devil's side in this war of good and evil. Conquer. And the only way to conquer is to be on Jehovah and Jesus' side. The only way to conquer is to do right. We're going to end this off with the Lord's Prayer, the one and only prayer, the prayer Jesus Christ taught us to pray, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread, and please forgive us of our trespasses as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Please lead us not into temptation, but take us away from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the power, for thine is the glory, forever and ever. Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. Remember, it says in Revelation, the devil will live a short time. All his people that believe in him and the sinners that want to do sin, they live a short time. But God lives forever. Jesus lives forever. And those who believe in him will live on earth a long time and will live in heaven forever. God bless you. Choose God in this war between good and evil. God bless.